What's going on everyone? Today's a really special day because we're here with all of our friends. Bushy, Mark, and Cassidy. We're gonna be a really great fishing crew together. And our mission is to catch ourselves some dinner. That means if we catch some sheep's head, flounder, mangrove snapper, Spanish mackerel. There's a lot of different opportunities to catch dinner fish here in Florida. It's really interesting because it's been a while since I've come to this side of Florida. I'm on the west side right now. I'm usually fishing on the east side and the fishing techniques are a little bit different here. Things that I would use in Jacksonville isn't necessarily the same thing I would be using here. So I'm gonna test our skills and see if, if we can really find how to, how to catch fish in a new place. So today we're gonna to be hopping around spots and seeing what we can catch. We've got um, Bushy caught some mud crabs. We have some fresh shrimp. We have uh, DOA shrimps. We have all these lures. We have stuff to catch Spanish mackerel. It's really gonna be a mixed bag. We're gonna see see how what the day brings us and adjust and adapt to it. Let's get going. Water is dirty, doesn't matter. 20 or 30. Water is no bueno. I go on the side by the legs and I come easy on the side. Or you can try the back, they stay on the hook better. But I like the side this way because it kind of goes easy. Ah. You know, because when you try to go on the shell, it's better, but it's tough to get them on the shell. And what, what hook you using? Yeah, that's one perfect. size one right that's here. Perfect, yeah. yeah. See that? I'm gonna break off these. Okay, so we get on the side, and Bushy's just so awesome for catching these in the morning. I, I have a feeling that we're going to catch some fish using this bait. This is the way. And this is called a knocker rig right here, where you'll keep it right down in the spot you want it. Usually we put it on like this as a Carolina rig, but this time we're going to be putting it right next to the hook. Tiny one. I hope he brought some friends. I hope he has some friends there. That's the species where we're after. Him? Where did they help him? Uh, I have to hook this guy sometime. I got him right in the corner, barely right there. Oh, wow, nice. That's perfectly hooked. Yeah. Almost, almost not even all the way through yet. <laughs> Checking my line, I got 20 pound line here, a little split shot. I'm just gonna try throwing my shrimp right under the bridge. Whoa, yeah! Flounder, baby! That's a good one. I wonder if it's in season. Let me ask Bushy real quick. Flounder. Keep it, uh, is it in season? Is flounder in season? Yeah, that, that one I felt just taking it really slowly, really slowly. Then I, I saw the line moving, set the hook. That was the fish. So I'm excited. This one we might be able to eat. I gotta check the regulations real quick to see whether or not we can keep it. Oh, it's right on the dot. It is on the dot. You're right over. It is on the dot. It's up to you. I say let's let it go and then yeah. I don't want to risk it. Yeah, I never I never let's like anything that's I like to keep I like it an inch, inch over. Half, half an inch, inch or an inch one over. inch or over, yeah. Okay. Because it shrinks on the ice anyway. Yeah. People say no. 
I don't want to risk it. We're going to catch more fish later. Oh, yeah. Here we go. There's the fish, first fish of the day, for me at least. Keeper, but I'm releasing them because I don't want to, I don't want to risk it. Good job, man. Thank you. See ya. It's a start, right? Yeah, it's a start. It's a good start. Start of a good day. Uh, yeah, I'll say that because after all this storm and this dirty water, I was a little disappointed. But yeah, but you, you just got one. I just got one. Yeah. And that was pretty quick and our friends haven't even showed up yet so we've well, been here a few minutes can't complain you know yeah, flounder sheep's head that's not bad and for dirty water and oh yeah being windy as, as heck any as anything the other day we're gonna get them though we're gonna yeah. get them i feel good about today let's go first time fishing tampa no we've been here before oh, we've been here before only at the pier though which, which pier? pier uh the this soto pier oh okay got a big sail cat there <laughs> That's surprising. Finally on the sheep, y'all. That's nice. nice. That's not biting. My first sheep's here. <laughs> nice. And guess what? I caught that on the, the head, just like you said, Cassidy. See? There we go. Second Thank fish, you. but this is a tiny guy. Okay, Small sheep. Let's see those cheeks. That's such a cutie. Yeah. Keep Junior. That's what keeps stealing our bait. You know what? Okay, so something I like to do when I get, when I get to do spot is to check all the depths and see kind of what's under there. I like to do that with my handy dandy deeper fish finder right here. And this way I'll know in the future how deep it is. This way I'll know where, where the holes are and whatnot. I'll just tie this onto here. And this is the deeper pro too right here. I, I love this one. It has really great battery life. And if you guys don't know what this is, this is a sonar that you can attach to your fishing rod. It and connects that, to your phone and you can see the water temperature, the depth, the structure. Let's see if there's any fish hiding there. It's a very intelligent little device. Let's try and cast it to the deepest spot right now. Okay, that wow, that's only five. That's six feet right there, 6.2 feet. That's a hole right there. I'm gonna have to keep that spot in mind. And Bushy was saying that at this at this spot, it probably will be up to seven, eight feet, around eight feet during a high tide. So that's a pretty nice deep hole right there. And I, I actually see fish marking at the bottom right here, actually. Yeah, at six feet, I see stuff hanging out at the bottom, stuff at four feet. Yeah, this looks nice. Kind of hold. Cassie is on a fish. Yeah. What is that? Sheep's head. Nice. Girl, girl, girl. <laughs> Another. Look at you. <laughs> How about me? Hi. Oh, he swam away quick. <laughs> 12, 13 inches. This guy was getting them by Courtney Campbell, like back to back. I don't know what the day. Oh, I'm on! Oh, got him. oh, that was so spontaneous! Oh I had no idea that was gonna. I just literally <laughs> just threw that in for a second. <laughs> Look, I just barely hooked it too. Look at that lip piercing. Nice. Too small. Let's put it back in. Wow, that came out of nowhere. I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> oh, they got mad. Huh? They were like hundreds of. Oh comments. my gosh! Look at that. And people are. That's what I'm, I'm like, left with. I think of that dumb that they think I don't know. I am left with nothing. <laughs> All right, I think it's time to move. All right, moving spots. We're going down all the way to our first spot. Then we're gonna work our way back all the way down to the pier over there. So we've got a route planned out. It's always good to have some sort of loose plan as to where to find fish. Have multiple holes to check because it's not always gonna be in one spot, right? Sometimes that spot's really good, but sometimes there's nothing there. So when there's nothing there after an hour, instead of staying there the whole time, it's a good strategy sometimes to actually move spots and check a different hole. Maybe that one will be producing. It's a grind of going and finding all these different fish and hopping spots and trying different things. And that's something that fishermen are really good at doing. So if, if you really want to start catching and finding more fish, I suggest you coming up with some kind of loose plan um, to um, hit multiple holes for your day. Be adaptive. Be adaptive. Be, be adaptive. Be Adaptive. 
All right, we are at a random, random spot under this bridge here. But, I mean, under bridges is always a good spot to fish, it seems like. I have to agree. No matter where I go, under a bridge is really the spot. Wow, it's such a pretty spot here. Damn, Bushy always finding us good spots. Okay, so we're gonna fish on this pylon over here. Supposedly there's a nice deep hole right by it. I might check it with my deeper to see how deep it actually is, but we've got a deep hole right on this pylon. We're gonna stand on here and try and fish. Bushy's gonna try and catch some pompano on this side with jigging. And if he catches anything, then we might switch to pompano jigs and start you know, fishing for pompano. But we're gonna give it a test and see what works best and then uh, adapt. It's fun in a little combo. 3,000 size reel. Well, that's why you feel like you yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. oh, and look at that hook set right there. So perfect. It's it's at 12. It's a hair over 12. Wait, no. No, no. It's, no, it's, it's a hair behind 12. Behind 12. Yeah. 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 Never mind. It's a hair under, so let's throw them back. What was it? It's right at 12. Right 11 and 3 quarters. But don't the uh, sheep's head look different here? Like they're, they're skinny, right? And in, inject are round, like circles. They're longer, huh? It's so weird. Yeah. yeah. They just chew on you. Yeah. Okay, so look how I'm doing it. I'm just putting a little piece of shrimp like this. And we, we had to try a lot of different ways to really figure out how to catch them. That's a good way of presenting it. Half 
13, right? It's gotta be. Yeah, it looks. In my eye is 12 half 13. First, oh, look at that smile. Of the day. Good morning. Look at that. What 14? a beautiful smile. Ah, uh, no. I 14. Ooh, Four, I 14 and a quarter. You guys got the first fish, the first lunch fish for today. Where are you gonna put it? You have a cooler ready for this? Yeah, okay. Edge. You throw a little far, then you drop on the edge. Here. First fish of the day. Come on, a little tiny thing. So we tried that for like maybe 20, 30 minutes, nothing. So we're gonna hop to our next spot. Good thing we've got another place in mind. If nothing at the next spot, we're gonna end up at the pier, which we're pretty confident we'll be able to hit something. But it's good to have a plan, a backup, a backup strategy. The, the thing is, I caught two keepers, but they were like a hair, either too small or like just on the dot. And I don't feel comfortable taking that because I don't wanna get, you know, a $500 fine so we're looking for like a an inch above or half an inch above it's still all, it's still all fun but when, in terms of if you're looking to harvest fish it kind of it's kind of like oh I just want I wish it was like a little bit bigger but it looks like we only got one keeper fish right now it's not like we're not catching fish it's just we have to weed through so many smaller ones that those keeper sized ones are hard to come by and uh, yeah, that, I think that's something that fishermen can really understand and relate to. But like, if you don't fish and you don't understand that, um, it could just all be all good and fun. But we're trying to eat. That's the thing. We're trying to eat, and we have four people to, eat, to feed. Yeah. All right, last stop. You wanna uh, turn me? Okay, here we are. Next spot. We're gonna be able to fish a lot of different stuff here. So we're gonna be walking, fishing. But honestly, let's go find a spot first. Come on, follow me this way. You hungry? Yes. Let's eat. Oh, Cassidy made Sorry, her famous sandwiches right here, so. Hello guys, here on Hey Skipper. <laughs> We're trying to put you guys on fish. So let's do a knocker pin. <laughs> you got you got snacks? It was like shh. For real? Yeah, for real. And then it popped off. I got smoke. I just dropped it in one like for a second. We need to catch some more pinfish. I got smoked. It could have been a big blue. Could have been wow. anything. As soon as I put it in, I was started letting out lines. Did you like, take it by the pylons? Okay, so let's I had a whole pinfish on. It was zooming oh right under the piling. Oh. It was zooming. But she's gonna get you another one. <laughs> wow, that was a snook then. That was a snook, definitely. A snook. I got cut off. I was using that octopus hook. Uh, the little one? Yeah. Let me go now to the well, hey. So we're gonna use a sabiki to catch. Honestly, at the bottom, I can probably put this banana jig at the bottom too. I might get something out of that. Yeah. Oh, this isn't a. That's not a pinfish, though. Blue runner, right? Yeah, it's a blue 
Will they hit the blue runner? Yeah, they do. Here. Ooh, close me. All right, let's give it to Cassidy. Go follow Cassidy. Go give it to Cassidy and, and follow that. Lost their bait bucket. Oh, that's so. <laughs> Maybe. Oh shit. Are you sorry? How are you gonna How are you gonna rig this? I just uh, did the dorsal fin. Okay. All right. Okay, if y'all insist. This is a oh, blue is runner. A, a blue, a blue runner? runner. Oh, perfect. Sorry. Back here. This is a cute fish. All right, maybe this will work too. Let's give it a shot. Oh, I will see you guys tomorrow then. All right, buddy. Uh, it was nice seeing you, man. I don't think I'm gonna do it. See you, Aaron. Bye, Bushy. Tomorrow. Good to see you. Uh, nice seeing you guys. <laughs> see you, Bush. Run, get the keys. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. You got three. Yeah, I got three at a time. Very nice. Then we'll eat the shrimp, right? <laughs> Okay, I'm on. That's bait. All right, that's enough for now. Definitely think that's enough. Yeah. Are you gonna hook it up now? Yeah, I'm gonna hook it up right away. Oh wow, this is a crazy one. Sparky. Like that. We're back in our Airbnb now. We've got our sheep's head. We also have um, ladyfish, but I think we're just gonna eat the sheep's head today. And Cassidy is gonna prepare this in a very special way, right? Yes, yes. Okay. We're making vermicelli bowls. Vermicelli bowl, vermicelli bowl. Vietnamese style vermicelli bowls with fried sheep's head. Yes. All right, well, let's we'll take it away. Yeah, we're gonna do it with pork. So how are you gonna prepare the fish? So. Yes. That's a nice one. Yeah. We're going to start with the herbs first. Okay. It's Crushing up all the herbs, yep. the aromatics and everything. Yep, the aromatics. Because we're going to mix pork and fish. Mmm. <laughs> what? Well, now watch the professional do it. It's not like your dad. Yeah, that's the best thing to say. Shark fishing glass? I did. Did you take a shark fishing glass? You got it to, huh? to keep shark. Actually, I don't know if I did. All right. You can tell she's a nurse. <laughs> <laughs> Surgical procedure. <laughs> that piece that I'm missing, I cut it out for one of the nice. The, um, the fried pieces. It just looks like shrimp and crab mixed together. Mm. Yeah. There's our white meat sheep's head. Look how clear. I can see through it. Ooh. I wonder if anyone's ever done a sheep's head sashimi. Ooh. <laughs> how could it be bad, right? It can't, it can't be. <laughs> the only thing I would do first is freeze it. Ooh, put the aromatics on first. The more garlic, the better. Let's fry these first. Yeah, I see 
fish fries, seafood bread mix. Look, seafood bread mix. Yellow corn flour, yellow corn meal, salt and spices, so we don't have to season it. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I love doing that. That looks great. So you don't have to season it. Let's assemble this. We got the vermicelli noodles. Mm. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of the pork in between. Another layer of the noodles. Mm. Oh, in between the layer, huh? Like a sandwich in of. Between. That's a good idea. Just a little bit. Go back. Ooh, -hoo -hoo -hoo. Ooh that looks good. We have some pickled vegetables. Ooh, you made this homemade, right? Homemade pickled vegetables. Yeah, I saw those videos of you doing that. A bunch of them. Of them. Okay. It's a lot of veggies. And then we'll veggies. add the fish. Fish on top? Yeah. And then you made homemade fish sauce here too? Yep, we're gonna serve that on the side. Nice. Yeah. Beautiful. Stay tuned for a final picture. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's get all the rest of the plates ready and yeah. get ready to eat. Let's do it. Some Thai basil. It's gonna go perfect on this. And then some mint leaves. Beautiful. Oh, zest and lemon. Wow, finishing touches. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Smell the lemon. Bowl. If you finish this, you get a thousand dollars. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. In here, shining on the food. This is like a freaking magazine spread right here. Oh, that's for sure. Look at I that. Think so. Yeah, it is. Yes, Look it at is. that. Magazine spread in some random Airbnb here. <laughs> We're at a five star gourmet restaurant. What is the restaurant called? It's called Cassidy Place. <laughs> Yeah, you can find her on Instagram. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It looks so amazing. Everything so... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. 
You want to try a fish? Try to get some veggies. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. I think it's exactly what we all want. such a good job. But I had an idea from eating it at restaurants. Yeah. You know, I never thought to put, because I always use like fresh vegetables, lettuce and stuff, mm -hmm. but using the pickled veggies goes above It goes. A really I, good idea. I completely agree. Really good idea. Mm. I'm out. There, look at that. Oh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> mm. It's just so yeah, good. A After a long lunch. day of fishing, this is exactly what we need. Just a nice home cooked Asian meal. Yes. We killed it. Woo. That was oh like my God. literally three and a half minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> We only stopped to say, mm, oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it really was like five star gourmet. It's so good. Once again, yeah. oh my gosh. Thank you, Gertrude. Round of applause. Round of applause. We loved it. So, here at Hey Skipper, we love to do these kind of adventures where we all go out in a really big fishing family group together, catch a bunch of fish. Well, today we only caught one, but we love to cook up our food after we catch it and um, really share that with each other. And I think this is a really great way of sharing like our time and like sharing culture and sharing like just good food. So if you guys like this kind of video, if you, if you like this kind of show, subscribe to our channel. It's I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Like and subscribe. Uh, comment below. What do you want to see next? Where do you want to see us go fishing? What do you see? want to see us cook next? There could, there's a lot of different cuisines out there that we haven't tried cooking yet, and we are open to suggestions. So comment below. What do you think we should do next? Peace, guys. See you next week.